guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my full face contouring and highlighting routine. Um, we're going to start off with foundation, just even out the skin tone. Today I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation in the shade Fawn Deep. Um, you guys may not be familiar with this foundation on my channel because I only use it after I've been on vacation because I bought it for some reason in the middle of August two years ago and it it's just like super dark. Um, if I wear it any other time of the year, I look like I'm doing blackface or I'm just being super offensive, so I can only wear it now, so that's probably why you guys have not seen it. But we just evened out the skin tone with that and a beauty blender, and now I'm going to conceal and highlight using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. So I'm placing just a very small dot of that on my chin, and then a tiny little bit of it on either side of my nostrils, and keeping it very low. I'm not getting it anywhere near the um, waterline or near the lower lid. I want to keep this very low. Um, this is something that I find is more effective if you're a guy and you're doing highlighting. Men generally don't have a super, super stark white or bright under eye area to begin with, so I generally like to keep my concealer low and blend it up as opposed to applying it heavily at the top first and then blending it out. And I pat that in with the pointed side initially, and then I will go in with the back end at the end, which has still a little bit of foundation on there just to blur out the edges so there are no harsh lines. Just do the same thing on the other side, and then we're done with that part. <laughs> um, now we're going to highlight the forehead, and I just put three little dots. The forehead, there's no rhyme or reason. I just want it brighter so put that on your forehead I keep it pro a little bit lower towards the brow bone because I don't want it to look like my forehead just continues on into my hairline um, I want to kind of keep it kind of low keep it kind of low I, I can't talk it's like super early guys I need to do this video before I went to work but anyway I'm now just highlighting down the center of my nose I put three tiny little dots in my nose just to straighten out the bridge and also under my jawbone my cheekbone rather sorry and that will help carve out the cheekbone even more and create more definition as you can see right here so compared to the other side it's much more defined and now we're just going to blend that in on the right side of my face before going in with powder so to set all of the areas where I concealed, I'm using the MAC CC Prep and Prime Powder. It is a pale yellow powder that's very mattifying but very brightening as well. And it's not super, super stark where it's going to look like just BAM, you have just a straight up cake of powder all over your face. But it's very, very light and when I apply it with the Beauty Blender, it's even lighter. And this is definitely my favorite way to apply this product is with the Beauty Blender. And you can see the difference between the two sides of my face. One is very matte and dewy, and then the other one is just very, very greasy from the moisturizer and everything I had on. And then that powder completely nullifies any of that excess shine. And I'm just setting everywhere where we put that powder. I'm blending it in with the Beauty Blender. And done. Alright, now it's time to contour, and I will be using the Kevin Dupuan Sculpting Powder on a Morphe... I don't know the name of this brush, but it's a giant paddle brush that's angled, so it's great for contouring, and it just has a very diffused look, so it's not too sculpted, and it places the product very beautifully and blends it out very seamlessly. So I'm just applying that on my cheekbones right above where we place that concealer, and in between the under eye concealer that we did before and then I'm running it down the jawline as well to sculpt out my chin. Now it is time for a little bit of rhinoplasty. We're going to carve out the nose and change the shape a little bit. I first run the powder at the top of my nose where like in between my brows just to create the initial skinniness and shape of the nose and that will be my guide for where I draw the lines down the sides. And as you can see, I'm just continuing that side line down my nose from where I began it at the top. And I'll do that on both sides.
with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, I'm going to warm up the perimeter of my face, making sure that I blend very thoroughly into the hairline, especially now that I have this new haircut that's very, very structured and very short. I need to make sure that there's no demarcation line between my hairline and my scalp and my face. And I'm just bronzing up the areas of my face with this powder, again making sure to go into the hairline, going on the temples, the forehead, I went around the chin and the neck, and this is just going to give you a nice glow and kind of help the contour blend in and make it not look so harsh. And I'm not using any blush today, so I do bring this a little bit onto the cheeks as well to add a little bit of blush. Not so much a pink blush, but just a little bit of color to my cheeks other than a gray taupe color from the contour. And I'm just going to continue running that around the perimeter of my face, just making sure everything is warmed up evenly. And then it's time for some highlight on flake. Yes, of course, this is the new Champagne Pop Highlighter from Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. If you guys did not see my review of it, I am obsessed with this powder. I've been wearing it every day. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. You can see how much illumination I'm getting just from dabbing that right on the top of my cheekbone. And then I blend it out just for an all around glow in that area of my face. I'm all about a glow, you guys. I love, love, love this highlighter. It's not glittery at all. And it's just very sheer, but very, very illuminating. It's, as you can see, it's beautiful. And I'm also going to take that highlighter on my chin and as well as my nose and then my forehead too, which I think I actually cut that out. But um, I do put it down the sides of my nose and on the tip of it just to highlight and make it seem skinnier and more <laughs> shaped and refined. And now it's time for the brows. I'm going to be using the darkest color in my Inglot palette. Unfortunately, I don't know the color name of this. I looked on the back and for some reason it's missing a sticker and I, I've never used this palette so I don't know what happened. I did buy it at IMAX so maybe it was just an extra single pan that they had and it didn't have a number, I'm not sure. But I'm using an angled Morphe brush just to fill in my brows. I'm not changing the shape or sculpting or anything like that. I'm literally just filling them in. Now we're going to go and line the upper waterline using the Lorac, oh my god I can never say that, Lorac Pro front of the line liquid liner and I'm just running that from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye on my waterline and then holding my eye open just to let that dry for a second because I do find I'll get transfer or I'll sm it'll smudge everywhere if I don't do that. And as you guys know, I do currently have lash extensions, so I do not use any mascara right now. And I'm just going to set my face and bring some more dewiness back to it using a glycerin rose water spray. And that completes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this full contouring tutorial. I hope it was helpful to any of you guys. And if you have any other um, videos you want me to do, let me know in the comment bar down below. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again so much for watching. I love y'all. And until then, bye ya.